Hey, hey, I'm Annie Clark, and this is Noggin. This is Panther, and I'm Landon Liberon. I play Declan. And I play Fiona. Doesn't doesn't Panther kind of look like a small Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Panther okay. starred on an episode. In Sav's uh, Sav's music video. Yeah, Sav's music video. House arrest. House arrest. In a little um a little orange yeah. jumpsuit. Playing the piano, rocks the piano. <laughs> You're he a multi, was very good. Multi talented cat. We just like to come out and hang out with the cats sometimes. Yeah. Um, Landon was the first person I met here. Um, we actually auditioned for a different show together to play boyfriend and girlfriend, and then we went into the audition. We screen tested together, and they're like, "You guys look exactly like." Oh, they ran away for you. But they were like, "You guys look exactly like. You guys look like." twins and we were like oh ha, ha, funny and then we're playing twins on the grassy so we've kind of had that sort of relationship since the beginning yeah he's he's like my big brother yeah or twin brother and yeah, no we've, oh. we're pretty we're, we're pretty uh we're pretty close yeah yeah we, we've had a lot we've got we've gone through a lot there's been quite an emotional roller coaster between you and i and, and the show mm -hmm. and uh yeah we've just learned a lot about each other At one time that you ate the last chip, it was ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's, about, <laughs> that was, that's about it for us. Um, no, we, we don't really have anything to fight over. Yeah, we just like to tease each other, but nothing too extreme. Yeah, and that's generally the atmosphere with the entire cast. Yeah. So it's amazing how much we all get along, because I think when we came in, it was when uh, we were like the, the second group of new people mm -hmm. so the people who were new before knew what it was like and they were really welcoming and, and even just... the old cast members were yeah. like welcoming yeah. right away it was just like it's kind of crazy to think like a cast of like 30 or so and there's like no fighting or yeah. cattiness it's it's good We were connected in the brain for a little while there. Oh yeah, we would finish each other's sentences. We'd be up, and... we'd be up at the same time. Like, remember, we was like, yes. man, I, man, I was like up at two a.m. last night. I couldn't sleep, specific. and I was like, I woke up at two a.m. It was, was specific. Like... It was like two thirty-six or yeah, something. Yeah. And we both like thought about each other for a second, and we both w woken up at the exact same time. It was really weird. And the most psychedelic thing that we had was we were being tutored, and we had the exact same pencil. That wasn't that weird. He likes to say that was a weird thing. It was like a very generic the thing. The exact same brand, exact same color? That's odd. That's weird. <laughs> no, that Different was provinces. not one of the weirdest I got things. My, I got my pencil in Alberta, and you got yours in Ontario. So. The weirdest part of that is that the eraser was used the same amount. That's about it. We're pretty exciting people. <laughs> <laughs> I see, we, we bicker. We bicker a lot. Wow, you guys do sound kind of like twins. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. good casting for you. Yeah. <laughs> so you came back from Vancouver, so can you, what were you doing in, you know, out west? Uh, I, well, I live in Vancouver now, so I've just been kind of auditioning and, and I'm up for a, like a project that hopefully we'll go through and now I'm here for the premiere for the... Degrassi takes Manhattan, and it's going to be a whirlwind tonight, I think. Yeah. Meeting the fans, which I'm kind of excited for and stuff. And, and we weren't expecting him to come, too. We weren't expecting him to be able to fly down on such short notice, so yeah. we're glad to have you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty good question. I... I cannot think of a favorite scene. I have like, I mean, I guess I've had a really big storyline uh, with the whole Bobby abuse thing, and then now I just shot a storyline where uh, Fiona's kind of struggling with alcohol abuse. So I mean, not that those were super fun to shoot, but I mean, they're really good storylines to have as an actor. So, but the the Bobby, Fiona Bobby stuff was probably my favorite episodes to shoot. I like crying in scenes, so. Yeah, it was it was nice, like, um, to kind of be there for her character this season, where her character was always kind of there for my character last mm -hmm. season. Now it's kind of flipped, and it was just nice to be able to support her story, you know, and just kind of be there for her, and like, uh, there's been a couple of pretty emotional scenes and stuff that. Yeah. It's always One in fun. the movie. It's always fun. It's coming up. Pushing, pushing Annie around in, in the scene. 
But the funny thing is, all he has to do to make me cry in a scene, we did this scene together one time where I had to be like bawling, and for some reason I couldn't get the emotion, I couldn't really cry, and he runs up to me and says something so nice to me, and then I immediately start crying, even though it's supposed to be a, a really sad scene. Like when you see me crying in that movie, it's because Landon said something so nice to me. So that was kind of interesting. It's out of love. Yeah. I hope that I can continue with this dark kind of stuff um, because when I first started acting I was going out for a lot of like like mean popular girl kind of stuff which is fun to do a couple times but I mean yeah I'm super popular <laughs> no but it's it's fun to do like the first couple times but I mean you want to get into deeper stuff so I'd like to play the villain that was really fun in the movie to play the villain so yeah, um, I, uh, I, yeah, I guess I kind of want to delve into that kind of psychotic realm a little bit, like that really dark stuff where I've auditioned for a couple of things where it was almost close to like serial killer. I was just like kind of, I just wanted to, you know, be a dark character. Yeah. And I've always kind of been like the sad, want to be evil together. Okay, we already are. Cool. Awesome. We scheme a lot. <laughs> scheme. <laughs> we always seem to be scheming. And in our rehearsal today, we like have so many scenes where at the end of the scenes we just like high five, which yeah. Stefan's not going to put in, but we keep wanting these like freeze frame high fives of us because <laughs> we were like making plans together. You think? Yeah. I'd we should have I'd, an arm wrestle like that. He's not very win. strong, so... I'd let her win. <laughs> okay, I'd win. Oh, yeah. Have I'd... you seen me draw a picture? Yes, actually I have. Have you seen me make a clay bowl? Have you seen me make a video? Edit it all together? Well, that's not arts and crafts. That's, that's... totally arts and crafts. Alright, he wins. He's artsy. <laughs> I couldn't hit her in the mouth. Uh, in the mouth? <laughs> You've like punched me before. Uh, I'd win that one. Yeah, I'd let her win that one too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Are you good swimmer? I don't, I don't know. I, I was always like the guy with the big goggles with the nose thing that would like skid on the bottom of the, the pool. I'd be... I was, I was never that person, so I guess you win. I, I have hold asthma, my breath for a long time. So I... Oh, see, I can't. I have okay. asthma, so I have like really weird lungs, so I can't swim for a really long time. So you win. I win again. You probably won. Yeah, I played something for like three years. <laughs> Me, I'm such a good speller, you're a terrible speller. Hey, okay, okay, <laughs> relax. Relax. You I, probably. I'm taller. Yeah, but that, does that count? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I think no, it's just you high. Right. My, my head would go higher. Okay. You I don't know win. how much higher I could go off the ground. <laughs> I would die halfway through. Me too. I don't want to climb a mountain. No, yeah, let's not climb. No, That's neither of us are climbing mountains. <laughs> <laughs> not me. I, you know what? I, I bet you could. I probably. Could. I bet you'd I, like that. I talk to myself a lot. Yeah. I yeah, I'd like that. I you would. I would probably enjoy that a lot. Oh, she would. Yeah, I don't watch that show, but. Um, yes, I would win that one, I guess. I would. Yeah, he did I just stay up all night last night. <laughs> since four yesterday. Like, I had a nap on the plane. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good with that. Yeah, no, I like I'm my sleep. Tired tonight. I like my sleep, too. I just can't sleep when I'm excited. <laughs> she would. Running? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're not a good runner? If you're good at soccer, then you can run. Yeah. Oh, she would. I hate heights. I hate roller coasters, though. Uh, no more roller coasters for neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, right now Fiona just came out of a really um, intense and violent uh, relationship with Bobby. 
Um, so that was really hard for her, and that's kind of going to screw her up for the whole season. So she kind of starts drinking and going down that path, which obviously will lead to a lot of drama. So it's going to be really drama-filled for Fiona, which is in turn very Typical. good for me. <laughs> uh, Declan, um, after kind of going through the roller coaster that Fiona goes through, uh, he heads back to, um, or he is in New York again, mm -hmm. and um, he stays in New York, whereas Fiona returns. And uh, it's just that struggle with a long distance relationship, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, just uh, desperately trying to hold on to that, you know, bond. But of course, the distance will strain that, and it's Declan's kind of trying to make it work, but it, you know. And even like his basically long-distance relationship with Fiona, like, yeah. brother-sister relationship. Not that it's ever really acknowledged, but we Skype sometimes, like, in the show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's, that's also awesome. another reason why Fiona's kind of going crazy, because she has no family here. And, I mean, Declan has been her best friend her whole life, so yeah. it's hard. You're starting anew. Yeah. I'm uh, currently in one, kind of. I mean, uh... He goes to university out of town, so only for a few months of the year. It's a long distance relationship, so it's not so bad, but it's definitely hard. And I don't know how anyone could have done it without cell phones. Like, yeah. without texting, I don't know how people could do it. Have you been in one? Uh, yeah, well, I wasn't, we weren't dating, but it was kind of a, a thing, and we couldn't date just because of the distance, and it really sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Just Long sucks. sucks. People ask me this all the time, like, how do you memorize a script? But it's like, it's not like we get scripts and we're like, oh crap, we gotta me memorize the entire thing by tomorrow or something. It's like, we'll get them probably like a week in advance or something, and then the night before we're about to shoot, they'll say, oh, we're gonna shoot these scenes today. So like, let's say they say three scenes. Then the night before, I'll memorize the lines in just those three scenes, and then I have a, like a really good memory, so I can read it like once or twice and know the lines, and then refresh it tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's like working out a muscle in your brain. The more you do it, the more you you, you become you know accustomed to it, and and uh, it's, yeah, it's something that comes naturally after a while. That, yeah, and, and if you know the gist of the yeah, scene yeah. of like what it's about, then you kind of remember the lines from the read-through or a line that you thought was funny or something like that. Yeah, it's it's really not as hard as people make it out to be uh, mm -hmm. uh, learning the line-wise and when the, the emotion stuff is a little harder, but yeah. It's, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's, it's, it just comes natural after a while. It's not like memorizing for like a, present, like a school presentation or something yeah. because it's something you're so interested in and you know the character so well that it's like, it's not a chore, really. Season 9 and 10, there's been some funny ones. Uh, <laughs> Fiona likes to shorten words. Well, Degrassi in general kind of likes to shorten words, as I'm sure you know, os, which Spinner always said. But uh, there's one coming up where I, I call champagne champers, which I think is, like, <laughs> annoying but also really fun to say. I say totes a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't have, like, a favorite line, but... Charlotte and I always acknowledge the fact that Holly J always says, Oh, I'm so busy between this and this and this and this. And she always like lists all the things that she's doing. We always laugh at that. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my least favorite line. I, I, I don't I know my favorite. Know you, you know it. Yeah. When, uh, they never aired it in the episode because I think they realized how ridiculous the line was. Do I know it? Yeah. What is it? It's, uh, I don't know. This girl is just so oh, yeah. strong and powerful. She's like a, a hurricane or something. <laughs> and I was like, you who says so that? I was like, it. who in their right mind says that? <laughs> and I said it like someone saying that, realizing who says that. <laughs> like, you know, and I think that's why they cut it. <laughs> because yeah. I just didn't deliver it the way they probably planned it. Yeah, that's true. And you also, when we did the read-through for the movie at first... 
uh, there's this one line where Declan's like, what did you do to my sister? Like, really, really intensely. And this is like a joke between the everyone in the movie, basically, because in the read-through, he just decided to substitute sister with twin, which suddenly made it sound so weird. So he's like, what did you do to my twin? <laughs> and, like, it sounds weird when you call someone your twin. And when you're, like, all angry, like, what did you do to my twin? <laughs> That's how he said it in the read-through, and everyone's like, what? <laughs> what? That was probably my favorite line in the movie. Except yeah. it turned out to be sister in the movie. Yeah, I just uh, just want to say thank you, all you guys, for all the crazy support you've kind of given us and bringing us onto the show and you know recognizing us and stuff. And keep on watching. Season ten is going to be a it's going to be quite a wild ride. And you would not believe how many Twitter things I get from people because he doesn't have Twitter. So people being like. Why doesn't Landon have a Twitter? Is Landon going to be in this episode? Like, all questions about him. I don't him, have so. a Twitter, nor will I ever get a Twitter. So stop asking so, me so, if he's going to get a Twitter. So drop it. he never will. Just drop it. <laughs>